What's going on you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch and welcome to the channel. Now, first of all, I want to start off with an apology. I've been lying to you. I've been trying to play off like I've got two cameras, but turns out I've just got the one and I've been flipping it horizontally. But today that all changes because I picked up a brand new B camera specifically to film this video. I'm going to be live streaming the whole teardown and the entire process of installing the RGB board I got from Zebro months ago. I've wanted to do it for a while, but I haven't had a good enough camera that would really show how the process works, and I didn't want to deliver you guys bad content. So now that we've got the better camera, we're going to get at it, and we're going to find out what the name of this video is. Is it going to be RGB Backlight Mod, or is it going to be How I Broke My Flipper? Well, sit back, let's find out. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the live stream. First step's gonna be disassembly. So y'all don't need to see me in the big screen. So let's flip it over and go down to here. Cool, cool. So here is our infamous B camera and here is our flipper. I've actually already um, gone ahead and installed the RGB uh, firmware. So I have uh, Rogue Master on here with an RGB mod. You can see the screen doesn't work right now, even though it's kind of dirty, but that's all right. Um, so we'll turn this back off. This is actually kind of a sad, sad moment. I have to take my carbon fiber skin off. It's been on here for a long time. Um, this is actually from Lily. Lily's amazing. But the weirdest thing happened. Out of the wild, she actually messaged me yesterday asking if I wanted to test out some new skins she's working on. And then we actually decided to do a collaboration. So Lily agreed to make a Talking Sasquatch limited run skin. So I'm super psyched about that. Look to see that coming up pretty soon. Super, super cool. So first things first, let's take the SD card out so I don't forget about it. Am I gonna cut it or peel it? I was debating that. I could just cut it. I'll cut it. This is a very sharp knife. So hopefully, this flipper has been through a lot. So a little razor blade action ain't gonna hurt nobody. Can I like get a fingernail? Eh, well. YOLO. Now, I do have another flipper that I'd... If worse comes to worse, I have a backup, but I really don't want to get to that position. Got my iFixit Mako. These things are awesome. I've got every single... Every tip that I need for something like this. All right, let's take our screws out. I... Everybody likes to strip these out. I think you're just being, like, ham-fisted, but... Aha! Show me your secrets. Come on, show them to me now. Okay, yeah, so this is where you break the pogo pins. This is where you break the pogo pins, because I'm just like, oh, wow, I'm being a monster taking this off. You want it to come off nice and straight, so the pogo pins don't go snap. I heard something open, and here we are. Pogo pin still intact. There we go, cool. All right, so I've got my tweezers, so we can open these, because I know these need to be opened. Or not. Oh, do we open them on this side? There it is. There it is. Yep. Eh. Eh. Okay. So let's just use the old thingies. I do have some relatively small pliers. I could use those as well. This seems like it should come out easier. Oh, yeah. This guy's like not even in here. There we go. Yeah. Is this all the way up? No, it's not. There. Now it's up. Now it's up. Now it's up. Move the chassis from the top cover. Okay. Okay. Tink. And then remove the chassis from the top cover. Remove the chassis from the top cover. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. There she is. Cool. I've removed my chassis from the top cover. Disconnect the battery. The battery. Disconnecting the battery. Okay, I can do that. So we're going to find out just how hard it is. Why is this so hard to get off of here? Come on. I feel like this shouldn't be this difficult. Get out. Hey. There it goes. Cool. Awesome. Do not use metal screwdriver when prying out battery connectors. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We don't listen to instructions. We make our own. Well not doing that. Anyway, 
Didn't break my pogo pins yet. Okay, disconnect this. This is the um, the Dex Killer right here. You guys highly, highly overestimate how easy it is to blow up a a whoops, the magnet got me. A um stay. A lithium ion battery. I mean, yeah, you can definitely bodge them, but like it's not that easy to to kill it. Uh, remove the chassis. Let's take the chassis off. So gently rock it back and forth. Oh, that's always everybody loves that step. Mm. Gently rocking. Oh, oh, the is it? What do you want me to do? Yes, that's the tech it. Thanks, buddy. Oh, okay. Okay. And I drop it. Fucking ham-fisted idiot. There it is. Listen to Dex. That's never good advice, though. Well, sometimes. I'll give him sometimes. Okay, so that goes up this way. This is what I originally thought. Yep, that's open. And then get the little thingies to thingy that. Actually, let me take this off first. I have a feeling this needs to come off first. So how... Eh. Eh. There's a clip right there. Unclip that. Nah. Eh. We free? Do we do it? Did I get a high score? Another clip right there, which should try to just kind of come out. Aha! Cool. More stuff. So now the ribbon cable comes out. And the fun commences, I believe. Ribbon cable's out. So I have my handy dandy TS100. This is amazing. Whoops, an amazing soldering iron. Um, it's running Iron OS. So it just has some cool things on it, like the um, display right now will flip if I rotate it. So now it's right side up. Super cool. And I've got my handy dandy, super nice solder sucker. And we're gonna try to unsolder some things. I wanna put this on. My little clip holds this in place. Um, I'm gonna burn myself. I'm in danger. All right, so this is moving around on me. So what we're gonna do is actually, and I might have to refocus. I'm gonna grab these guys. These I got from AWOK. These guys are freaking awesome. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Dion. We appreciate you. So we can just kind of set these up on points here, right? That goes there, that goes there. Eh, be real careful. That goes there. So let's get rid of some solder here. Whoop, it moved. See, that's what you gotta be careful of with these a little bit. Oh. All right, that's most of it. So that looked like it did a pretty clean job getting solder off. I swear, the amount of people that'll f***ing rage if this is just like easy. If they just easy mode get this off. Editing mode Sasquatch here. Never tempt fate. So yeah, what AWOK's saying is just to do the smart thing. Which is you can kind of just like... Use the notches on these to hold it in place as well. So we're gonna kind of like... Do one of these guys. Oh yeah, that does that does work. Man, these things are freaking cool. So now let's reflow this guy and get my button. Get that nice and flowy. There we go. That's pretty clean. So I know this is the this is the dreaded part because now we got to get this out. Please make sure. Please make sure the flipper does not break. Oh man. Uh, Let's uh, hope, let's hope so. Hey, Tom, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Here's the ribbon cable out. Yay. What's that? That's just some glue. You can remove the screen now, actually. That'll make it easier. Oh, yeah? Let me do this real quick. I'm just going to add some flux. Whoops. This syringe of flux makes a fluxing mess every time I use it. Oh shoot, I'm moving my camera. Yell at me if I if I move stuff out of frame. 
nice and flowy. Nice and flowy. Alright. This is sketch sketch ball Z right here. What attaches the screen? You can remove the screen now. Like how? Ah! Crap. Oh, I see. This is so sketchy feeling. I don't like it. One bit. You used a knife. <sighs> Jesus Christ. This kid's fucking crazy. These kids are crazy these days. They're knives. Because if this cracks, we're in trouble. So we're not going to crack this. We're just going to, like, be cool. Hey! Screen is off. So, heat. Oh, yeah, that's what everybody was saying, too. Add solder and push. So, where did my solder go? Here, oh, did, did I not pull my solder out? Shoot. Where is my solder? Now I've got stuff everywhere, so I'm sure it's, like, literally, it's, like, playing, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Where's Waldo or I Spy? Where, like, I know it's out here somewhere, but I've, I've lost it. Ugh, I have really bad solder in there. I might have to use that if I can't find my other roll. Random Chinese solder. We're gonna find out if it sucks. Me again. It does. Solder despawn. It did though. It like the timer ran up and it was like, nope. Yeah, this is this is good stuff, right? This is the best stuff. If I can just get an edge up. Uh-oh, that did it. That did it. Yup, there it is. I got the edge, you can see it right there. Once you get in there, you're in there, so, cool. Oh no, it reflowed and then it came out. Heh, <laughs> okay. To infinity and then some. Uh, I'm not quite off. Not quite, but close enough, close enough where we can just give it the old wiggle waggle, I think. I just burn the crap out of myself? Yep. Yep, we're out. I can't believe we've done this and survived. Finally, you telling me? You have you only have to watch this. I have to exist. Ugh. Got him. Nicky board. How do I take this off? Do I just violence it off? Do I just exert the violence? Is it just the sticker that's holding it in place? Ah! Came out. <laughs> All right, that was freaking sketchy. Solder a jumper wire to the new PCB, so let's do that real quick. And according to where this is gonna be, that needs to be way back here, which I did not know before. So we're gonna tie, solder a long wire, and I'll cut it down. And then we want this to be like this like right here, as far over to this edge as humanly possible, with as little solder as humanly possible, it looks like. All right, that's on, and that's not a lot of solder. No, it goes like this, right? Yeah, it goes like this, and then this goes like this. Under here. Right, that's the right side, yeah. under like that and that goes under like that perfect it fits perfectly there right now grab this guy put this on like this we're gonna put this back on brilliant goes down like this it goes there and there right up against the edges oops it's a little wrong
and then that's on. All right, cool. Now we're back in the game. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. Don't break my coil on the CC 2011. Or CC 1101. Why am I calling it 2011? Who the fuck? It? What is this? What? What is this? Okay. So we're gonna tuck this kind of around, I think. That's gonna go in like that. And then that'll stay on like there. All right, where's baby solder? Baby solder. Baby solder. Doot, 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 doot. No, this, that's right, this solder sucks. What's up with the solder? Why is this doing this? I mean, it's gonna work, but my god, this shit is like giving me nothing but. Did I wipe the tip? Probably not. That's probably what's going on. I'm like, what's coming off on here? Why does this look like crap? What is this? What's happening? Oh yeah, stop. Yeah, it's been doing this for so long that I'm like, kind of like losing my brain here. Yeah, let's tin it first. Yeah, see that one went so much better. I don't know what the deal was with this guy, but this guy is being super mad. Yeah, I don't know what this. What's going on with this part of the solder, but it's not being cool. But it's cleaned off now. But it's cleaned off now, so we'll just tip it and rip it. Tip it and rip it. Is that a thing? Am I just making shit up? I don't know. Whatever. That's on. It's on. It's and on. It's gonna have plenty of connection. We're good call it a day now we need to go to vibro so this is good here and let's give me a little bit of strain relief let's go to about there now the fun part actually let me grab my tweezies tweezers fibros right there and then It's on. Yep, that's on. 100%. Alright, so that goes there, that goes there. Then I need to connect the negative terminal to some other stuff. So for those of you that were there for the live stream, um, there was a long period of time of me struggling with the uh, first ground selection, and we ended up using GPIO instead. Much better idea, but I'll spare you the uh, the pain and agony of watching me do all that. All right, let me re reconfigure. So we're going to go to GPIO um, ground on here. So that's going to be our new plan. It's going to be substantially, substantially easier than what we're doing right now. Nice. The other thing is I'm soldering on a keyboard thing, so it slides. Yeah, it just sucks because, um, yeah, I wish I had better solder. This would have been so much easier with better solder. It's just not melting the way it, way it should. And yeah, if I like lean on this um, this thing at all, my keyboard moves, or the thing sl slides. So you have to be like super careful to not do that. All right, so this goes to negative. All right, let's tin the wire. Tinny, 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 got him. Let's flux the point. Yeah, ground didn't give a shit. Fucking honey badger ground. Yeah, I'm, I was wondering that myself. Alright, that's on, right? So if this is good, that's pinned, that's pinned, that's good. I should be able to proof a concept this, right? 
All I need to do is plug in the battery and the SD card. Battery goes this way. Don't short anything. Don't short anything. Okay. Oh, it's not broken. <laughs> it's not broken. Oh, actually, what do I, I? All I have to do is put this back together. Um. So actually, I can clip this down. Right? I don't have anything else to do back here. Right? Yeah, I'm good. That clips in there. That goes here. This is good. That's lined up. Stop touching the screen, you idiot. Stop it. I button. You know what? I could, <laughs> could kind of give a shit about I button, but that's okay. That's why I was like, oh, if I break the pogo pins, it's whatever. Did you break No. I don't know how you break the pogo pins. Well, I know exactly how you do it, but, like, gotta kind of be ham fisted. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you, Air Pop Control. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. It really does help out the channel because I just was able to buy a B camera because of support from viewers like you. So let's fire it up again and make sure that everything that's supposed to work works. Why is my battery so. What? <laughs> that's weird. Need an SD card. You don't need an SD card. So let's let's kill this. Off. Alright. I can put the pogos back in. Uh oh yeah, that's right. It's gonna be hard to put the case back on with the SDN. There you go. One screw pogo. I don't have extra parts, Crunchy. They're not extra. They're unnecessary. I re-engineered this project so I don't need the screws that I didn't use. It's is fine. Alright, cool. That's attached. It says on the diagram, short screw, short screw, but mine is definitely short screw, long screw. I don't know. Don't care. Oh, and it fits together again! Flippy Boy is back! Alright, we're on. And we're gonna go to, let's go to settings, LCD. I use the patch file on the latest version of Rogue Master, so here's all my cool colors. Yeah, so I use my own my own firmware. Well, I use Rogue Master firmware, but I did build it myself. Um, so we're gonna go to RFID, and then what do I have? It's RFID. Read. All right, so hey, it works. That was way more fun than I thought it was going to be. Now, that was a long three-hour stream, but we did it. We've got it working. We've got our really cool RGB selectable uh, backlight on our flipper. And I pre-compiled the software for it, so everything's working great. I couldn't be happier. There are links down below for everything you need to make it yourself. Again, I don't recommend doing it unless you really know what you're doing and you have good equipment and really good solder. The bad solder was my biggest problem. So get good solder. I can't recommend that one enough. So yeah, it's been a long morning. Let's get to editing this so you all can see how it went. All right, thanks for hanging in there. Take care, we'll see you next time.